so just out of curiosity. Hi, Josh. <laughs> what's going on, Tivia? So I have a question. You Not gotta be sweet. totally authentic. You gotta be yourself. For sure. And don't hold anything back. Mm -hmm. Can you honestly explain yeah. what a day like me is like? A day like you or a day like me? A day with me. With you? Mm -hmm. Okay, so for all of you out there, at 3.32 a.m., uh, I will say this is my second time meeting Josh. <laughs> the first time being us spending one of the best afternoons I've had and Josh has had to date. <laughs> <laughs> really? You know, Josh, I was thinking about it uh, earlier today when you were trash at responding back. <laughs> and I was like, Tim, I was like, why do you even bother? And it was just like, because I had such a remarkable first time encounter with you. So I mean, no surprises there. You know, but it's just you are the company you keep, and Amen. you know, aka. So I blessed you. Well, no aka. You no, know, I should be charging. Deltas only. Mm, <laughs> Americans. <laughs> right. So, uh, long story short, guys, because who really wants to hear a long story? We, uh, Chris and uh, Chris, Josh and I met. You look like a Chris, though. You look like a uh, guy I know, Christopher. I get that a lot. Not but always Christopher, but just a guy you know. It's a good thing you're not the guy I know because I don't want to know that guy. But he always makes a reappearance. I'm like, please stop. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Um. Anyhow, this is also a preview of me. Just like jumps to like all these different topics all the time. But um, Josh and I met on a Friday, which was two days ago. And we were supposed to just, like, meet up and see how we vibe in person after meeting online. And uh, what can I say? He saw me in a crop top and a skirt. Mans were breathless. Oh, <laughs> gosh. All right. Um, but it went from just, like, meeting each other to seeing how we'd get along maybe over a drink, maybe over some food. And we spent a great afternoon with me just walking him around downtown Toronto, grabbing some food in one of the best spots in the city, and just... Uh, in Rasta pasta. Rasta pasta, and just enjoying each other's authentic lives. You know, no pretentiousness. Think about being downtown, being such a city person. People just buy into the bullshit. I've... You asked me um, uh, when I was like, hey, like, do you want to see last night? And you're expecting bottle service pictures, videos. I'm like, that doesn't do anything for me. It's just like, it's another night out. Like, I don't care to document that. There's nothing special about it. And being with you, what was so special about it was a sober time and just really enjoying each other. We had a bomb-ass meal. I took you around to one of Toronto's hidden gems. Kensington Market. Kensington Market that you were so sketched out for, so cute. And just overall, you just being there with me, you know? Like, we just met, and you were comfortable enough to just join me in our journey together. That's why, hence, we were supposed to meet up today at uh, 11 p.m. No, no, 10 and I was out, girls' night, uh, <laughs> still was out, tends to fall asleep, but based on how we were with each other yesterday, I brought my ass here at 3 a.m. Was it really yesterday? It feels like it was two days ago. Yeah, it does, because technically, if you want to be technical, two days ago, but it's just, it was like, I can appreciate that, you know, so I'll make time for it. And like I said, woman of my word, because we all have nothing and then you just develop through life, but you got to be able to be uh, held accountable. And if I said, I'm going to meet you, I'm going to meet you. You okay, know? So here I am. Toronto, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, eh?